it was there. It's time to get real with Jahaira. It's time to get real with Jahaira. YouTube was there. YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahaira, and I am back. What's going on, everybody? Uh, coming in really quickly on a serious note, because today is World AIDS Day. Today is the day that we remember those whom we've lost as a result of complications from AIDS. Today is the day that we are cognizant of those living with HIV um, many of whom are celebrating a fabulous life thanks to the advent of new medicine and uh, science. And today is the day that we pause to reflect on the knowledge which we all should have of our own HIV status. And I'm going to tell you something that I have never ever talked about on my channel before. To date, as of World AIDS Day 2016, I have tested negative for the HIV virus. This is not because I was always careful. This is not because I sat in a rocking chair at home knitting sweaters for dolphins at SeaWorld. I have been very open about the fact that at one time in my life for about a seven year period, I was participating in survival sex work. And during that time, while I never engaged in sexual intercourse um, as, as part of a business transaction, um, for an added fee, I would participate in unsafe sex practices without the use of a condom. It's not the easiest thing in the world to talk about because it opens doors for confusion and outrage and judgment. But it was my reality. In addition to this, I was the kind of person during that same time period who basically had to look up just to see low self-esteem. Um, I didn't feel that I deserved good things in life. I didn't feel that I was good, whatever good means. I, um, I had a very, very low vision of the trajectory of my life and believed that if I merely survived, that that would be good enough. And so in that phase, when a guy would compliment me or flirt with me or say anything even remotely positive to me, though it oftentimes fell on deaf ears, I felt as though I owed him something. I felt as though he deserved a part of me. And so I would engage in unsafe sexual behavior with said guy. And this happened far more times than I would like to count far more times than I would like to admit. And when you couple that with the sex work that I was doing, I have had some form of sexual relation with people numbering in the hundreds. And that is something that I have to live with. And so the fact that I have not contracted HIV has nothing to do with what kind of person I have been. Um, and it has everything to do with the luck of the draw. And the reason why, I mean, I am a person of faith, but the reason why I would never say it's by the grace of God is simply because there are a whole lot of people under God's grace who are living with HIV. And HIV is not a punishment. It's an illness. It's a treatable illness. I say all this to get to the point that 
this is a day where we've got to take some time out and ascertain for ourselves whether or not we know our, st our status. It is now the one of the simplest tastes. Hmm, wow, simplest tests. <laughs> Um, technically speaking, that you'll ever take. You know, it, it, it's a swab and a little weight, and then you know. And so knowing your HIV status opens a door for you to then take steps in, in whatever direction, whatever the result may be, take sh steps to ensure that you either continue to not contract or if you have contracted, that it stays with you. It is the adult thing to do. It is the responsible thing to do. And it is absolutely, bar none, the right thing to do. Being married does not exempt you from this. Your particular idiosyncratic circumstances does not exempt you from this. Because so long as you are an active sexual participant, you qualify. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I find it amazing. It really does blow my mind that some people who are so determined to put a hat on their head on a cold day wouldn't take the steps to protect their more nether regions under different circumstances. That is highly confusing to me. So in the interest of not confusing me, don't be one of those people. Protect yourself. Care about yourself. Care about your partner. This does not mean y'all gotta pick out a China pattern. But take the necessary steps. I mean, aside from the fact that there is just a whole encyclopedia of, of other communicable diseases that, that you could end up getting, um, some of which are a lot more visually unpleasant than others. Um, don't be a jackass. Do the right thing. Do the responsible thing. This is my little PSA, and I will definitely be coming back with other stuff, but I would be remiss in my duties as a citizen of Earth and as somebody who has had to say goodbye to far too many people and conversely, who has loved and continues to love so many people who happen to be HIV positive. I had to come through, I had to tell you. We had to talk about it, and now we have. Please, let's handle business today. One love.